Hey, what's up, friends? Uh, I'm Chris, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am doing a little vlog thing on my phone because my computer is to the brim filled with space because uh, I've been working on music. And I figured I would do a little vlog for you guys on my phone uh, because that's the only way I can actually upload a video right now. Uh, so as you can see i'm here in my room and i'm just yeah just gonna have a little chat with you guys so what's going on uh right now so uh i am working on an axel album uh which is so exciting uh it is uh sort of a very cathartic and a very emotional time for me uh this is the ending of my studies uh in uh, the summer in july i'll be finished guildhall after four crazy years uh and uh i'm very sad about it but i'm also excited for the future and what's going to come next and at the end of this is sort of also funnily enough i'm turning 24 on july the 3rd and in a way that's sort of the beginning of my third 12 year cycle of life um and so in such a fitting way i'm sort of writing this album which really sums up the last 12 years of my life for me i feel like and, and it's been such a fluid process I've, uh, it's been actually kind of weird how fluid it's been it's just kind of like flown out of me and it's just it's continuing to be that uh which has been so cool and so fun uh and also a bit scary because you want to do a good job obviously it's my submission i do music but also it's a very personal thing like i think there's something in this album that talks about everything uh, in my life over the last 12 years and that is really special um for the last two and a half years i've been writing kind of blog posts and poetry and stuff like that and i've learned and i've been learning how to communicate my feelings in art in a subtle way and sort of all of these little creations that i've carved over the years have sort of come back and they're sort of making their space in this album and there's a sound that i am exploring and i'm very excited to to share it with you it's it's diverse and yet it's also consistent and uh it's it's me and and that identity is something that i've been looking for for many years and i, I feel like i'm finally arriving uh there so yeah uh, that's what i've been doing and of course with sort of uh that whole process uh i've uh also just been trying to take in um the last sort of few months of my time at uni at guildhall and uh sort of start to think about what's coming next and and start the, you know preparing uh but i guess i've been sort of very privileged and very lucky over the last few months to just be in such a, a free and creative space to to just to write and to make and i continue to be in that space for a little bit more before uh things change and 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 things will will change and that is the nature of life uh as always has been the case and as i have documented thoroughly on this uh this channel um my cousin sam for example who actually i mentioned in my first video on this youtube channel um he is now in Japan and he he's uh, on a year abroad scheme and he's just living life and he's doing so well. And that really inspires me um, as well, um, seeing him and, and he's he's uh, taking it in, in his uni experience, the, the break. However, just seeing his mutability and his adaptation, um, it just motivates me to, to, to believe actually that the other side is going to be awesome. And I remember how... I found beauty on my gap years and and I'm looking forward to to that again um coming coming out of Guildhall but but yeah I'm I, I just sort of wanted to share these thoughts with you guys because obviously that it's it's a thing it's happening um I know that some of you guys are still in school or maybe you're going to college uni or whatever um and these are all things that we think about or we don't think about but we have to think about eventually because they hit us and then it's the next stage of, of life and and we're there so well luckily i get to hold it off for a little bit longer i continue to write my music uh and um i'm just really pumped for you to hear it because 
it is a lot of work and it's not going to be out still for a little while i have to once it's completed then i've got to submit it and then i've got to plan the release for it but i will probably do a little like teaser thing on my soundcloud for you guys because you know you guys are special to me and i need to share something with you guys because i really appreciate the sort of little audience we've got together the little conversations the little chats i know barely anyone watches these little things but just having this little space to grow and to engage with friends who have listened to my music from 2015, 2014, 2016, you know, just a long time ago now is so cool and such a really honorable, it's really, like, I'm really honored to, to, to even just have a little bit of your guys' time because I know that the world is so quick and it is, it is, you know, we have so many things to think about and to, to look at. And so the, the fact that you've maybe heard my Roblox music or you've heard something of mine and you decided to check in and stick around and, and, and hang around just really means a lot to me. And um, just know I'm, I'm busy working. I'm doing my thing and uh, I will um, I will continue to I'll come back with a promise of some thing on SoundCloud or something small uh, like a little soft release for you guys so that I uh, at some point in the future so you have something to take away before my big release at some point uh, which will be such a a big uh, a big a big thing for me uh but yeah um and um another little update is uh i've taken a little bit of shift from writing um I, I wanted to talk to you guys about i hit a milestone i hit uh basically uh a year two years and a half two and a half years since late 2019 writing every single month on my like my personal blog diary thing and uh i have i voluntarily decided to break it uh i found like i was writing it came to a point where i felt like i was writing just to keep the sort of tally going um but at the same time I, I i have learned so much and i've loved writing and i've found something that i've really loved to do and it's a, again another really cathartic powerful thing and um i remember when i was inspired to write in 2018 um and the beauty that surrounded that inspiration and and also uh going and taking the leap in 2019 and the beauty that surrounded that leap and since then in lockdown how amazing that was for me to to write and to actually carve my feelings and actually make sense of them uh so i recommend it actually writing is so cool it's it's and it's it's really nice to actually do so in a way that you know that you can appreciate in the moment but also you can read in the future and relate to yourself again so you don't actually like vomit all over your emotions you can actually read it back and go hey i relate to you man i feel you and that is a really cool concept. Uh, and I really have enjoyed learning how to do that. So I can now read feelings that I had from years ago and I can actually learn to love myself through those feelings instead of cringe at myself through them, if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I hope that you guys are having a beautiful spring. The sun's starting to come out. Life seems to be moving after this crazy pandemic. Um, uh, at least in some sort of direction and i wish you guys all the love health happiness and success for the future and i uh, really appreciate every single one of you and i'm really looking forward to sharing more stuff with you album stuff uh but yeah anyway um stay tuned i'll post little snippets i'll post little things on here i'll continue to i'll probably post little vlog pieces fuck it uh with friends uh as i collaborate and stuff with them or talk to them or chat with them or whatever i'll just i'll do i'll, I'll fig figure something out <laughs> we'll figure something it'll be fun uh but for now peace out uh lots of love and stay safe